It's a cautionary tale for anyone traveling abroad this summer season. A young woman who says she was raped and thrown from a hotel balcony during a tropical vacation. Well, she's now sharing her story and her fight for justice. She spoke exclusively to investigative reporter Danielle Lee. Danielle? We all know about those all-inclusive resorts known for big parties and adult fun. But what happens when that fun turns dangerous? Can you count on justice when you're the victim of a crime abroad? It was a vacation meant to be an escape, a break from the busy city, a chance to relax and regenerate. I just kind of wanted to enjoy myself. But that vacation ended with this young woman hospitalized. A damaged spine, a gash in her hand, an internal trauma from what she describes as a brutal rape. She's asked us to disguise her face. This world is sick and people have horrible intentions and they're malicious. This video shows the victim poolside at the ocean blue and sand in Punta Cana just before the alleged violent attack. She says she met a couple also staying at the resort when they took an interest in her and shared a few drinks at a poolside bar. Things were like starting to get blurry. I kind of heard buzzing in my ears, like ringing. And that's when everything started kind of to fade. The victim says she headed for her lounge chair, but she says the 28-year-old man she'd shared a few drinks with followed. I remember being taken against my will to the room. I remember my pants being forced off. What happened next is hard for this victim to discuss. I remember fear. I was crying during it. According to police reports, someone called 911 after seeing the victim fall from a second-story balcony with no bottoms on. She says despite her trauma, doctors in Punta Cana did not suggest a rape kit. Instead, the victim went to police, who determined her injuries were consistent with rape and arrested the couple. And in statements to police, one of the accused admitted to throwing the victim off a second-story balcony when she found the victim in a hotel room with her boyfriend. The couple is now facing charges of sexual assault, attempted murder, violence against women, and robbery. But a judge released the couple on $1,000 bail each, the same amount the victim has since spent hiring an attorney to make sure this case gets prosecuted. It's a whole different country. It's different rules. An international victims agency says reports of sexual violence abroad have increased 28% since the Me Too movement began. But actually obtaining justice can be a challenge. They caught the people and they let them out. How do you do that? And now this victim wonders whether her attackers will be held accountable. That's what pisses me off the most, is that I know who did it and that they might walk free. Both the prosecutor's office and the police department refused to comment on this case. The hotel also declined to comment. The victim's attorney is fighting to reverse the order, releasing this couple, saying that they never should have been released in the first place because of all the evidence against them. The U.S. Justice Department admits to us that justice abroad is a challenge, but there are some resources that victims can use, and we have links to those in this story on our website.